I am a mask queer pop star, making kind of like angry, heavy, homosexual dancing music. Good times. Wearing this mask makes you feel like invincible. And also I'm not sweating my entire face of makeup off every show. We're playing Stand and Calling Festival this weekend, which is very exciting because we played it last year and it was arguably our worst gig of all time. <laughs> but this year is going to be different. How are you feeling about playing today? Yeah, feeling good. Ready to hopefully redeem ourselves. It is the hottest day on record in the UK, so this look currently makes me feel sweaty, but empowered. <laughs> I am South East London's number one Dua Lipa impersonator. I am a queer dance punk musician. I make big, loud, angry queer dance music. And I wear ridiculous outfits while I do it. Your ego is basically like shielded by the mask. So, I found when I started doing Lynx and I started performing in the mask, it just unleashed me to be this total, like, crazy person on stage. Wouldn't have the same impact if I was just walking around looking like Jack Harlow. <laughs> no shade to Jack. I mean, he's great. Love him. Um, love the guy. Apparently, I look like him when I'm not wearing this. So, I did an interview with Andy Bell the other day, and he described me as a, a drag piñata, which I quite like. So, I'll take that one, Andy. Thank you very much. I think like many young gay boys, I like learned throughout my teens that if I wanted to kind of get by and make friends and be accepted by people, I did a lot better if I kind of sanded down those like feminine edges and those eccentricities and things. With Lynx, I put the, the mask on. I can do whatever I want because if it's terrible, no one knows it's me and they're not going to judge me. This is probably the last year of outfits, I'd say. All the best ones, all the highlights. A lot of hard work in this bag. Yeah, it's a big one. Almost all of my outfits that I've ever worn, I've made myself. I can go. This is a classic. Nice little red sparkly Satan number. We've got this bad boy. This one's really good. I've worn this one to death. I had this like weird image of like, what if Maggie Simpson listened to Billie Eilish? <laughs> when I started Lynx, I just go to charity shops. I think I've slightly upped it on the aesthetics game in recent years. I didn't go into Lynx thinking, yeah, I'm about to be really famous. I better cover my face. Lynx, it's a very famous deodorant here in the UK. Kind of like the classic teen angst boy smell. So I thought it would be hilarious to make a drag act called Lynx. This is really good. It's by my friend Laura Bowles. So it's this big sort of like giant frog face dress. I did a show the other day and it was in Brighton and someone afterwards came and was like, I've never seen a pop star before. I was like, you still haven't. <laughs> you still haven't. You've seen a 25 year old prancing around in a <laughs> suit. But Thank you. The reactions I get when I've got the Lynx outfits on range from like children wanting to get pictures with me to children crying to like um, men asking if they can give me like a piggyback and get a picture to like homophobic abuse. But like what else is new? You know what I mean? I think if someone was being judgmental to me, I'd say you need to have a bit more fun. Try putting on a masked skin tight suit. You'll have a really good time and probably be a nicer person afterwards. So we're playing Stand and Calling Festival this weekend, which is very exciting because we played it last year and it was arguably our worst gig of all time. <laughs> we come on stage and they were not pleased. A girl came up to um, one of my backing dancers, Ella, and goes up to her and she's like, could you get him to play Avril Lavigne? We'd probably all enjoy it more if he played Avril Lavigne. I didn't play Avril Lavigne, but I did pretty much cry when I came up. <laughs> but this year is going to be different. We're on an actual proper big stage. Hey guys, anyone upstairs? You cool? Want to come down? Yes, come down, come down. I love them. This looks great, this looks great. I've got made this new outfit, so I'm gonna need your guys' honest opinions, okay? These are the trousers. Okay. Like Pretty it. cool. I love the belt. Yeah, the belt, yeah, it's a little um, car, car seat thing going on. Yeah. Again. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah it's on the back. We've got like little link smart. That's the link. That's the link smart. That is so yeah. smart. The colour scheme is great. I Thank really you. like the colour scheme. The outward stitch as well. We yeah. see it. Yeah. Visible the white stitching. lining. It's nice. Like it. Yeah. I thrifted this the other day. Very masculine. Very butch. <laughs> Concise. Succinct. Yeah. If I was a judge on RuPaul's Drag Race, you'd be um, safe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Put it on, put it on. I need a private viewing. Okay, let's do it. Go put on then. Put it back then. on. Put, put it, it back, back on. on. Let's put do it. it back on. Wow, wow. You look great. Do a spit. Yeah, okay. I'm so proud of him. Like, his energy on stage is, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty breathtaking. <laughs> Even recently, it was one of Elton John's picks of the week. You know, he's, he's going yeah. places. It's yeah, makes sense. It's going to do, it's gonna do really well. I was thinking of potentially retooling some of the old tracks a little bit. Mm. So I might go down and do that. Do you guys want to come join? Yeah, yeah. yeah. sounds good. Okay. Let's go. Let's do it. Downstairs, <laughs> let's, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Some of those isolated stems are so sick. Yeah! Survive. I'm so excited now. Oh, I'm excited now. It's going to be so fun. Be excited. But no, guys, thank you so much for letting me run the outfit and the tracks by you. It's going to be so fun. You guys actually want to come? Yeah, we're like going, said, yeah. Happy days. Nice. I'm not planning to ever reveal my face. I love the anonymity that the mask gives me. It's given me such a healthy relationship with my art, if that makes sense. Hey, how are you feeling about playing today? Yeah, feeling good. Ready to hopefully redeem ourselves. It is very nuts that this mad, moth DIY drag music comedy act has somehow become like the biggest thing I've ever done with my life. It feels like a nice bit of proof that like sometimes the thing that you're doing for fun, that will often become the thing that actually people respond to the best. I think we have officially redeemed ourselves. Fantastic. Yes. We have two trans kids. Anyone can be whoever they want. I'm just owning it. Our family is seen to be very unconventional. So I had kids and I can't be hot anymore. Like, moms are hot too. People say I look like a thug, but I love thugs. I take that as a compliment. I'm bored of people thinking that I cannot be intimate. I'm a young, single, hot piece of disabled booty. I feel like I'm going to look at myself and be like, who is that? Life is way too short to be hiding. It is my story, it is my truth.